All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to bullshit. I mean, uh, Castle of the Winds. <laughs> uh, no, it ain't bullshit except for some of the bullshit that I'll be dealing with. That's the uh, the final boss who uh, lives around here, I think. Yeah, the final boss being a a giant, which I apparently cannot beat him, especially when I try to kick his ass, but he kicks my ass. But I've come to the realization after a couple of days off that maybe strength isn't the way to go. I think dexterity is probably the best way. Because what I need, it's like, look, you got all this armor value and whatnot. It's like, yeah, you're heavy armor, you're pretty good, but we need more dexterity. Yeah, dexterity, dexterity, dexterity. This is something I need. Oh, yeah, I already have this to, uh, just to, you know, sell these things. Which I think I should go to um, the store. So let's go home. Well, I don't have a home. It was burnt down, remember? So, we gotta go sell these things. And a Apparently, I slipped skirting the pin and took damage. Good job, you dummy. For the first time in your life, you actually slip the pit. So, general store this away. buy this because you may never know when I'll need it especially when I get my ass kicked against that giant and I'll sell you some of these boots and I'll give it to the junk man Right. Now these magic arrow charges will not do. But the create traps thing, you may want to keep it. You may never know because, um, you know, when you're being chased by bad guys and you set a trap for them, if it even works. If not, then I'm all kinds of. Yeah. <laughs> Here's this too. And that. What stores is some scabbard weapons? You got anything that can help me, you know, increase dexterity? I need more dexterity. That's what I'm going to be all about now. Said it's all armor value. Let's resist the lightning, but there's no lightning shooting enemies out there. Increases, strongly increases. Okay. Put these on. Sell these two. Teleport, teleport away, and teleport. Slow monster. <laughs> like hell, that's going to do much. And are you sure that you don't have anything else? <laughs> it's too bad I never wore an amulet, because there weren't any good ones. I'll visit the magic store. 
So this then. Firebolt charges. Which again, what good would that do when that mother is going to throw a rock at me? Can't win the damn thing against him. Ah, you know what? Effort. Just put that on. Simply for the sake of it. Restore straight dexterity. What? Are you saying they're not at normal levels? Who knows? But I am resistant to fire, that's one attribute. Uh, how much money do I have before I put this on in the bank? Since I spent a great deal. Hey. Now save, jackass. And we're gonna go back and fight this bastards. I've been ganged up here. This is a bad spawn. Wrong there. I remember that name of the giant. Yep, this day of recordings was December 3rd, 2019. So yeah, world's worst spawn. Try again. You sacrifice protection for for dodging attacks. Oh, this again. Ah! Died again. Okay, one more time. Better take me somewhere else. Okay, that's it. You idiot! You were hit by lightning! You idiot master! Oh my god, the is here! Shoot lightning at you. Attacks me six times, but misses all of them. Ha! Ah. So there you go. Proof is in the pudding that dexterity can do the works. But you may never know that the giant is coming. lives in this floor so you better get moving who the hell are you a tunnel right well I'm gonna write your tunnel what that does it sound right I feel weaker good dang it man bandit Pick up the money. Oh god, that big tub of goo. I always refer to them as that. Immune? Bullshit! <laughs> Book of spells. Give me that. And use that. I learned how to teleport. Fascinating. Anyone else? Aha! Who else wants some? I could take on everybody. Until the giant comes in. Wait a minute. Look at you! You are not at your element! You say you feel weaker? Hmm. 
equipment I can't really restore unless uh, find somewhere in them spell books. It's like, yeah, you probably want to go home and rest a little, or rejuvenate yourself, or whatever it is that you people do. Who's you people? You mean yourself, jackass. Carefully skirt it. No, I'm not going to buy stuff unless there's something that I want. If they have it up for sale for today. Anything dexterity, 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 dexterity. I'll sacrifice damage and protection for more dexterity to dodge all these big ass attacks like how I defeated that Mandacor, which was my old sworn enemy. I was on the thought of the side of Lord Master. Yeah, you just want to stack up potions, especially when you fight against that big goof. Alright. Oh. I was just cracking my knuckles and just banging it. Now please restore my strength. Restore my constitution. And restore my dexterity. And which by now... I would feel great, but um, the question is, am I truly ready for it? Come on, activate you dumps. Alright, now we're back. The boy is back in town. Ah, god dang red ant. I recall there's nothing in that. I know he's on this floor. Is he not? Oh no, he lives here. I remember this area. Okay. Simple. Uh... Just, uh, find a secret door. Oh, uh ho. -huh. Oh, boy. Get ready to get my ass kicked. He's not here. Bullshit, I know he was. Oh god, wolves! He didn't hit a single thing on me. And here comes that little sawed off mother rat man. No, wolf man. Well, oh, that's a pile of crap. Oh, uh, uh, he missed me. And which. Here, there he is, Rungnir, the hell giant lord who is uninjured. Uh, I was able to dodge that rock while I wasn't paying attention, and here he is now. And I'm sure in my head, I think he's probably saying along the lines of Fee, fi, fo, fum, motherfucker! Lord Master, your ass is mine! Not if I get yours first! Oh god, took a hit boulder but barely scratched him. I missed him, he hits me, he ignores my punic attack and ah! better luck next time, motherfucker. Well one thing's for certain. Oh boy. That uh, cowboy is dead due to the radius of that attack. Yeah! Oh 
Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I mean, magic doesn't do very much. But, um... If you're gonna be on the run... I mean, you could dodge all these rocks pretty easily. I was supposed to look for inventory. There's these many spells, including the... Create traps. He threw a rock at me and hit me. Which is a hard one to that. Yeah! Just keep trying, man. You got the best weapon there is. Damn, he could throw far. Throws like an Olympian. Oh, come on, not now. Closet! Uh, uh, yep! Oh, god dang it! Yeah, I'm running for my life here. Keep running. It's a heroic way of doing things. Okay. You're in full health and full of mana, so figure it out, Jagoth. So just shields up. See if we can meet him again. I know he went that way. Yo! <laughs> okay. Toe could play that game. It hit him, but it barely scratched him. Shoot him again. He missed me. Slightly injured. See if this works. Just direct hit. It hit him. He's injured. He throws a boulder at me. He's heavily injured. Come on, just kill him. You can do it. He's heavily injured. You can do it. 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 That's what I'm hearing in my head. Just trying to motivate myself. Trying to pump some thunder into my veins. He's critically injured. Shall I go for a killing blow or just shoot lightning one more time and he'll go down? Yeah, fee five foam foam this. I miss him by a league and he hits me. I hit him in the chest. Go down! The mortally wounded hunger staggers and falls to one knee, ascending to my eye level. One huge hand points at me and brace for a counterspell as the giant traces a serpentine pattern with a carmine glowing finger. Hissing sibilantly, Sonny Hunger coughs and chokes, and the spell flickers out prematurely. He gasps and meets my maze again. My lord thinks that you are dead. A short bark of giantish laughter dies in the rattle. As Hunger's eyes glaze, and he pitches over, dead. Vengeance is mine. Whew. With patience and courage, I will be the greatest here. I have brought the revenge of myself, my foster parents, and my village. All the pain of the recent weeks came from the designs of the enormous being Hungir, where his body now lies dead before me. His depredations have come to an end. But who sent this Hungir? To whom do he report? Why I'm selected for his maligned intentions? These questions haunt me as impelled by the nagging uh, suspicion. I search the battered body of the dead giant. Uh, a familiar glint from under the giant's jerkin. Jerkin? Uh, stops my breath momentarily. There! With my trembling hands, I draw forth a shining amulet, which warms immediately to my touch. Left. For me, by my dead and my unknown uh, father, dead and unknown father, kept in trust in me by my slain foster parents, stolen by Hrungnir's brigands, now recovered by my heroism, or lack thereof, and I now hold it in my hands the promised legacy, the key to my unknown birthright. It seems to glow faintly in greeting, and grows unnaturally warm as I think of my father. Without hesitation, uh, 
I place the amulet around my neck where it fits me perfectly. All right. A chanted amulet of kings. Give me all that. And please identify these, because you may never know these things are cursed. Told you. And what's this book of spell here? No, god dang it! Activate the book! Detect traps. Okay. Hmm. Okay, here's the Amulet of Kings. What does it do? When wielded, this character makes resistant to drained life until removed. God! This is, uh, this is pretty, uh, good. And this cloak. This cloak is made of wool. And finally, this potion, distillation of greater restore mana. Alrighty then. Well, what else is there to do? I got what I needed. Can we go home now? Alright. Hey, couple of crew! God damn it. Oh well. Carefully skirt the pit. Well, I've done it now. So, uh, what's next? I'll just sleep on open ground because who the hell knows? I guess that protection spell may have helped me a bit. Oh yeah, junk store. I had considered using this, but no, I was being too brave, and uh, and I guess it turned out well. The wool cloak's going to the store, and uh, put that here just in case. Ah, hold on. Oh, I thought I was going to sneeze. Wait. <laughs> oh, wow. Whew. Sorry about that. It took a bit of time coming. As we know, th I feel that the quest is at an end, but... Surely there's got to be something more to this, right? I mean, it's, it, I mean, how come this is not the end of the game yet? I mean, I'll probably come back in, investigate one more time. Uh, utility belt? How does that compare to four? Are we in room then? Oh, that weighs, uh... It weighs just as much. The same bulk. Lighter weight. What's the difference? Give me it. I'm just, I'm just observing. Ah. Oh. This is where you put your three potions here and your scrolls here. Ah, okay. I'll replace that. Put this here. 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 I love me some utility belts. <laughs> Oh, apparently you can put four potions and four scrolls. Very well. If I find another healing potion, I'll put that in too. So I'll sell this belt and put this on. Don't let your pants fall off. Well, that depends on who you ask. Oh. Now these scrolls. Scroll of shield, you should use that. Slow monster. Keep that, I mean, they may never know. Don't sell it. <laughs> Phase door, may never know when to use it.
It's simply for the sake of it. Yep, now I feel like I'm one of them superheroes with them utility belts. With them utility belts. Are you listening to what you're saying, Lord Master? A chanted medium iron shield. Okay, I'll sell that and get that. The bigger the shield, the better. And gauntlets of slaying? Wow. <laughs> For more damage, but... I'm more on the defense of these days. So I'll pass on that. Despite what it can uh, do. But I prefer dexterity over more damage. I mean, I could just defeat these monsters easily. Just dodge attacks, and then when you whack them, they'll go down. It's that simple. As I said, can I go home now? There's no reason to return to your burnt home. Because, you know, your parents are burnt to crisp! <laughs> How much do I have in this purse before we bank it? None. Oh yeah, spent it all on the helmet. The shield, the shield. Is there something missing? Do I have to kill a few of them monsters and uh, all that crap? No? Well, keep searching. If you see a monster, kill it, alright? Simple. You killed a giant. I activated the amulet. Oh, son of a bit. Now, F you. Slightly injured. Injured. Actually, oh, god dang, it's already active. This is gonna hurt me more than it's gonna hurt you. Kaboom! What in God's eerie ghost? <laughs> Feel healthier. 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 I feel clumsier, but I resist the attack. Resist the attack. Are you sure? Am I not getting any weaker? No, it doesn't look like it. I hit the ghost in the head. And he had some... Bracers. No, damn it. Wrong spell. What are you doing, Rodmas? The Chanted Bracers of Defense. Don't I already have that? Yes. Same. Surely there's going to be more to this. Okay. Hmm. Activate and chant the name of the kings despite the fact it's already... Well! Upon activating the amulet, I immediately feel it to radiate power. Its aura spreads, enveloping me. My awareness of the world around me fades. A warm, colorless glow obscures my vision. A watery rushing sound fills my ears. I can no longer feel the weight of my armor or even feel to the ground, as if I'm floating in a warm pool. The rushing sound fades to a low burble, then to a noticeable throb. I feel warm and protected and somehow content. Time passes. A minute? An hour? I don't know. After an unknown time, I notice a shape in the glow before me. As I watch, it coalesces into a form of a man in shimmering ornate armor. Who meets my gaze and smiles warmly. His features seem familiar, though I don't recognize his face. He opens his mouth to speak, and a low throng of my ears rises rapidly in pitch until it forms the words. My son, I am he who is called Prince Arvi, thy father. The power of the amulet which thou dost wear to summon me from the nether realm, and thee from Midgard, so that I may speak to thee this once. Thou hast done very well to have come, 
this far against all obstacles before thee, and I am very well pleased in the manner to which thou hast shown thy mettle, avenging the deaths of thine godparents and the destruction of thy village. Yet thy greatest test still awaits thee. Altion fills me of my father's words of praise and the discovery of my role of blood, but his hint of the future trials tempers my delight with foreboding. My father continues, Eighteen winters ago, disaster struck our line when we became enmeshed in a great conflict between the Azir Thor and the trickster Loki. On mortal Midgard, a dread Sultan himself has taken part, which was not to happen until the eve of Ragnarok. All the wise of the nine worlds fear that this continuing intervention in mortal affairs portends to the premature arrival of Ragnarok, and doom for us all. The attacks on thy farm and village, as terrible as they were, are thy two threads in this great pattern, for Hrangnir hunted they at the direct command of Suto, who sees our heart fate to oppose him. It is thy task, then, as the last surviving heir to the throne, and thy fated destiny, as my son to thwart such his designs on Midgard, thou must reclaim our fallen castle of the winds. When, when thou dost invoke the power of thy amulet once more, it will transport to the town near the castle. From there, we went thy way to the castle's ruined throne, throne room, <coughs> where even now the shade of my father's king, Lifter and Seer, thy grandfather, waits thy rival. I notice my father's voice slurs somewhat, dropping a bit of a pitch, and his mailed legs waver as I say through a fire. He lurks away lower than needs, my gaze won't say. I may tarry here no longer, but I must leave now to fulfill thy destiny, so lift the doom on our bloodline, and thy grandfather can tell thee more. May all this be shield thee, thy son. With a final gentle smile, my father's image dissolves to a surrounding glow, and a low rumble replaces the voice in my ears, leaving me alone. Once again fatherless, the glow reveals no other figures. Yields no other voices. I've floated about since the time. After an indeterminable period, awareness of my surroundings returns. I find myself back at the feet with the amulet cooling in my hand and a hundred questions heating my mind. <sighs> I have a million questions and I can't sleep at night. And I'm sure he would come back and say, Then take something! <laughs> Anyways. Uh. So, um, was that it? What do I have next? Here ends part one of Castle of the Winds, Question of Vengeance. C to continue our adventures in part two, The Fall of Surtur, save your game now and see order information on the help menu. Once you receive part two, you will be able to load your character from part one and continue your quest. So it's going to be either that or... Start over from scratch on episode two. So, I would say I know this video was a little shorter than usual because I knew this was the end of the game. So, that's the end of this part of the series. So, you may want to jackass the Valhalla's champions, Tona winner after sixteen days. Sixteen days at midnight. So, Lord Master, victorious on this day, on December 3rd, 2019. So, the game is saved, um, and, and we'll see, too, if we can uh, use that save to get Part 2, or, or Episode 2. For so, again, I will be recording Episode 2, uh, which I have no experience, just as I had experience with the Episode 1 of Castles of Winds. Again, this was a game that really kicked my ass, but I found my stride. I found my stride now, and I'm sure Episode 2 is going to be more challenging. So I don't know if this character here will be coming to Episode 2, or start over from scratch. Um, episode 2, which, heaven forbid that I would do that sort of thing, but for now, I want you viewers to stay tuned to my YouTube channel. That, that Episode 2 of Castle of the Winds is coming. In addition to the uh, other videos, such as the ongoing Crusader King series, Chola, 
and of other videos that I do, such as Red Dead and uh, Oregon Trail, and among other things. So, so I hope you've been enjoying this part of the series of uh, Castles of Winds, Episode One. So, stay tuned for Episode Two in the near future. So. We hope that you'll watch us then, and we hope you join me on this continuing quest to reclaim the Castle of the Winds. Until then, so long for now.